I think we were talking before the show too, is that there's a lot of fear about, um, well, I just don't know if I can do this. And that just seems so overwhelming to learn something new, um, to maybe save me time in the end, but, but can I get over that hurdle? So, so what kind of advice do you have? Well, first of all, you've got to talk to yourself and talk yourself out of that fear. <laughs> I understand it. Mm. Coming on this, I never used StreamYard before. So uh-huh. <laughs> even though I'm thinking like, okay, it's probably not that hard. It's just unknown. And despite mm-hmm. the fact I'm theoretically techie and I have a whole podcast about tech, there's a little like, oh, I'm going to be using a new technology tonight. Mm-hmm. And I just had to say to myself, you'll be okay. You know? <laughs> so you have to kind of talk yourself off the ledge. That's, mm-hmm. the bit of yes, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> and then there's, there's a number of things. I think it's actually good for your kids to watch you learning something that's out of your comfort zone. Oh, you model yes. for them. So I'm big about the whole idea of, you know, the growth mentality and, mm. and a growth mindset. And the fact that your kids need to see you trying and failing and trying again because yeah. – you know, pr- plus they also enjoy laughing at you and helping you because they're exactly. probably going to be better than you. <laughs> but it's it's important that they see that you're not scared to try something, even mm. though you know that you're not so good at it. Tech is our world. Yeah. And so, you know, if you have realized that this is probably going to be better for you, it's only going to get more and more techy as life goes on. I remember all yeah. my family had iPhones. And I did not because the kids were kind of all teens by this stage or my youngest probably wasn't yet, but the rest of them all had and my husband had. And I didn't. And I was quite happy with my phone. And I was completely overwhelmed with the concept of Mm. trying to use this phone. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I I was. And I forced myself to say I'd like I'd like an iPhone, too. Because mm. I realized if I didn't get in on it fast, as every year went by, I was going to struggle more and more. And right. so I knew that, and that's the same thing. Every year that you don't try integrating tech into your homeschool and into your life mm-hmm. is a year you fall further behind. And I'm going to tell you a little story now mm. to explain why. And in fact, tomorrow, my podcast coming out tomorrow is literally called um, take time to save time with technology. Uh, And it came out of my total frustration with what happened with me a few weeks ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. I I coach our Science Olympiad team, as I mentioned, and everything went virtual this year. Yes. And Mm -hmm. Science Olympiad National developed a fantastic online system. So Science Olympiad, you do written tests and lab tests, and obviously we couldn't do the lab work, et cetera. So they just kind of went down to just ordinary tests. But kids take tests in pairs. So there's always like two on each event. There's 23 different events and they study Mm -hmm. up front and then you take the tests together, normally sitting side by side. Now, of course, the whole thing's virtual. So they created Mm -hmm. this fantastic system where you could sit in your own bedroom and take the test with your buddy who could be, you know, 15, 20 miles away. Mm -hmm. And they're working on the same test and there was like a chat feature and plus they you could like also just get on Zoom yourselves and talk it through as you went. And so we did a lot of invitationals, which are just kind of friendly events all over the country um, to practice. And then our regional came around. Well, our regional director is a slightly older gentleman and it came out that he's very daunted by tech. Mm. And so um, he's a chemistry professor at one of the local community colleges and he's been the state director for a long time. And he was sent a copy of this fantastic tool that actually works really easily. And and I not only did it as a coach watching the kids use it, but I also ran events and one of my other coaches doing it. It's easy on the back end. So it's mm-hmm. easy to use. Mm-hmm. But he just looked at it. It looked overwhelming. And so he decided he didn't want to use it. Mm. And instead he decided to use Zoom and Google Forms to run the whole event from. Well, you can't work together on a Google Form from miles apart. Mm. And he also just didn't think of the limitations of everybody because everybody had to be in a Zoom room together and there were too many. And the Zooms only took out. There were just so many tech issues which had been thought through and worked out Mm -hmm. in the system that they created. But because he was unfamiliar, he chose to go a different route, Mm. which I won't even start to tell you all the problems we hit. It could make an entire sitcom, a few actually, a series. <laughs> we would all laugh afterwards, but it was just one of those, I've never been oh. so exhausted. It was spread over two different Saturdays. It was awful mm. because he didn't take the time to have a good look at a new technology and learn it. Yeah. And so, you know, it's eventually 
you will get better at it. You know, mm-hmm. start on something easy and, uh, you know, don't jump into something hugely difficult. Find something that a friend knows. Find a YouTube tutorial to walk you through it, literally yes. to do it. Mm-hmm. And you'll get better. And I teach a computer applications class to teens. And at the beginning, I take them really slowly. And every time we introduce a new tech, I do videos or I share good YouTube ones if there really are some or I make them or whatever it is. And we go through it carefully. By the second semester, I'm just throwing at them. Okay, now we're going to be making this and we're going to use this. And I say nothing. And Mm. the interesting thing is I've never had a student come and say, where are the videos? Or why aren't you showing us how to do it anymore? Ah. And I just, I've just slowly moved from handholding to here's new technology, learn it. Mm -hmm. And they just do. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's it's a case that it you will get better at it. At the beginning, mm-hmm. you can find it, there's plenty of ways to find things to hold your hands and to walk alongside you. As say, YouTube is fantastic, mm-hmm. um, and then you'll just over time just get better and better, and you know less daunted. Don't try and change everything at once. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite podcasters, um, she's a school teacher down in Georgia, and she always says, "Innovate like a turtle. <laughs> you know, go slowly." <laughs> 